Well, we're on our way to West Virginia today. We've got two horses to bring up. One for a friend of mine that runs tonight, and then my filly, West Virginia Pam, runs tomorrow. So hopefully it'll be an eventful trip at Mountaineer Racetrack in New Cumberland, West Virginia. It's a little over a five hour drive for us to get from Kentucky to West Virginia. So we're gonna be spending the next two nights with these horses. We're taking Grade and West Virginia Pam. Here is Grade's race coming into the paddock. Winner grade from last night. Here's my girl Pam. You ready for tonight? So this is the indoor paddock. The horses walk through here. The grooms will grab their number and the identifier will check the horse's tattoo and microchip to make sure that they're bringing the correct horse to the paddock. And they will walk through the doorway and come out to the outside paddock where we will saddle them and the jockeys will get on. And there I am. So now she's gonna come in the saddling stall and those two guys in the green are called ballots. They take care of the jockey's tack. They clean it and get the jockey whatever they need. And they also help the trainers saddle the horses. So here you can see Pam starting to get a little anxious. So after that incident, we decided to saddle her on the walk because she is finally figuring out what she needs to do and she's getting very excited. Saddling on the walk can be a little difficult, especially because we're walking around in a circle so it's really awkward, especially like on the side I was on because I had to kind of walk fast and get underneath her and make sure she didn't kick me or step on me. And those girths are very strong elastic, so you have to pull them really hard or they won't reach. Here we are with the first girth, and then there's an overgirth that goes on over top of that that he just pulled out of his pocket. And this guy jumped in to help me. I actually had to reset the saddle because I didn't like the way it was set before, so we set it twice. So here comes my jockey. We're looking down at the other horses to make sure that the jockeys get on. They always get on in order, so we were waiting for the five jockey to get on his horse, so then he'll get on my six, and then the seven can get on their horse. And now they're going out to their ponies and to get into the post parade. This is called the Post Parade, and that white horse next to Pam is called a pony horse. Pam! Pam. Come on, Come on Pam. Pam! Come on, Pam! Get up! And racing. Away in a good so you can line. see Pam, the number Untapped six, right from the start, quickly, and gets the pushed way is wide into this Martin, turn by the horse on the inside of her. Right along the and then it looks like Very the horse comes out in front, front of her. With Coach Mark and now taking over, and, and Coach that kind of made her mad. She starts Cigala. throwing her head. We'll you can see her throw her head a couple times down this backside. So now she starts to drop back because she's broken her momentum a few times. Another three and that really slowed her down. Bond, 
Uh, and then you'll he- and see and the jockey start asking her to pick Virginia it up, Pam. and she catches up Getting to him leader, pretty quickly. About nine or ten lengths with three and a half furlongs to go. Where it's Coach Mark and the leader. By a length and a half, Glitzy Gala racing second, followed by Untapped Energy. Moving up on the outside is Flirt and Heart getting closer. And then comes uh, Treasure Bond. So now Bond, she West starts Virginia passing Pan horses pretty quickly the on the outside. Uh, followed, dropping and you see back this horse right in front of her start to move Magic at the same time. Last as they come and he swings home. wide and kind of gets in front of Pam. Coach Markin. Glitzy Gala is moving up sharply second, so followed by Untapped Energy. instead of going way wide, Pam's jockey decided Pam to go up the inside. Back the inside now. And then the horse the he got right behind is, uh, slowed Glitzy way Gala down, on the outside, which interfered energy, though, with her again. And Untapped Energy has quickly gone to the lead, uh, and the so race is all over, and Untapped third. Energy. Daily double for Still a good race Alex for Pam. Gonzalez I'm and happy with that. Well, that was a case of bad racing luck there. Pam had the worst trip. Horses cutting her off, bumping her, pushing her wide. And she got stuck down on the inside and then got stuck behind horses getting tired. And that just goes to show you, you can have the best horse in the race and it is still very difficult to win. Well, we made it home safe and sound. And we're just going to rest up and look for another race in a couple weeks. Hopefully we can get the win then. Thanks for watching.